skill-based matchmaking and skill-based bullet damage. Rig-based matchmaking. They nerf you in real time. They know your entire bloodline's future. They know how many kids you're gonna have once you play five games. Bruh. This game had a lot of potential, man. This game was good. I, I played it. I enjoyed it. I had fun. Those bimbos, bozos of the dev. Prestige Ski says that there is no skill-based matchmaking. Oh my god. Oh my I'm, god. Shaking. I'm shaking. I'm shaking. We're gonna be checking this out. We're gonna be peeling it back layer by layer, ladies and gentlemen. Draw the thumbs up. <laughs> As the homie 402 Thunder once said, roll it. Complete challenges, but for me, I've been playing hardcore since the introduction of it way back in the day, you know, over a decade ago. And at first, oh, wow. it was just like a fun little experience to play uh, Search and Destroy. I always liked playing hardcore. Search Yo, they got like crosshairs and hardcore? What the? Bruh. Bruh. Search and Destroy it was just fun to cross map people. And then that transformed into enjoying hardcore and all the other game modes that exist in the game. And I just felt like I was luckier and I could survive longer. And I feel like I take less damage in hardcore. I know that that wow. sounds really weird. But hear me out for a second. Let me explain myself. Have you what? ever played core what? and you're just like, you know, vibing and you're, you're Stop the cap. Yo, pump the brakes. Pump the brakes. Get them dogs. Get them dogs saying woof woof here. Bruh. In back in my disc. The fact of the matter here is that it used to be in the game Deadass. And what was also amazing about not having a launch was skill based mastering. And we used to never have. We used to, believe it or not, guys, we used to never have skill-based matchmaking back in the days, guys. Nowadays, we do not have maps at launch. We do not have the game working at launch. We do not have hardcore at launch. We do not have infected at launch. We do not have gun game at launch. We're going to be dropping that later on. But what we have is that skill-based matchmaking power. That's what we have at launch. The main game content, not at launch. We're gonna drop that later on when the player base has died like 80%. You know what, uh, me? They got so many bimbos working at Infinity War. Just fire all those bimbos, bruh. Just fire all those bozos. Three years, 3,000 devs. They wanna have skill based management microtransactions day one but not game modes like that, bro. You're using an SMG and you're trying to work on challenges and you're shooting someone either from a distance or medium range with an SMG and it's like three, four, five, six bullets and they're still not down. You're like, what the heck? Maybe this guy used a stim shot or something. You're trying to figure it out. You're scratching your head. And then all of a sudden- Or maybe it's not you have a nine KD, you know what I mean? Guy Bruh. comes around the corner with the same exact weapon you're using, but takes you down in one shot. And you're sitting there like, what mm. the hell just happened? You're watching the kill cam. It doesn't make any sense to you. They're using the same weapon, but for some reason, they're able to take you down way faster. That's called rig-based matchmaking. They have like EBMM. They got skill-based matchmaking. They got a bunch of patterns. They filed years ago. We talked about that years ago. And in fact, a couple of months ago, we were talking about this. Not just that they got skill-based matchmaking. Guys, I have seen like 2% of you saying that hey, they, they should be skill-based matchmaking. I love skill-based matchmaking. I, I love I love the skill-based. You know, I love the, the skill-based matchmaking. There should be skill-based matchmaking. 2% of you are saying that, and guys, like, listen, okay? I'm not saying they should not have skill-based mastering, and all I'm saying is that they can have that in rank play. Rank play is supposed to be that game mode where they can keep skill-based mastering, keep public, public, random. I'm not against skill-based mastering, I'm just saying keep it in uh, rank play. Make public, public, so there is a purpose. When you got rank play and uh, public lobbies, same, then what's the difference? Why do you want to play rank play? Yeah, but, but I want to play for, for their rank. Leaderboards, they don't work. There is no barracks. There is no leaderboards. Bruh. They don't have leaderboards, my guys. So what do you want to grind the game for, man? Skill based management, leaderboards, rank play. Keep it there. Public, normal lobbies. Drop a thumbs up if you agree, man. Bomba cut. And then the conspiracy theories start about skill based matchmaking and skill based bullet damage and all this different stuff, right? Mm. So I thought to myself, why would I deal with one-shot kills or dying instantaneously in core when I know that shouldn't be happening? Why not just go to hardcore? Why not just go there and deal with it there? At least then if I'm oh, shooting wow. at someone first and I put six bullets into them, I know they're going to die. There's also really no reason to worry about what you're using in your class. Like say there's an SMG or a shotgun or something that has always just been universally hated in core modes because of how poopy it is. It doesn't matter in hardcore. <laughs> Every weapon oh is viable. God. Everything. You could use anything you want in this mode and be extremely successful. And oh, there's wow. no worry in the world whether or not you're going to be able to do that because the health is so low. The only time you're going to really have issues while using SMGs and those lower hitting weapons like handguns and stuff like that, it's when you get into range, right? Because then mm. you'll actually start getting hit markers. The range hit markers make sense, but with the gunsmith systems that we have- Bro, like, just stop the, stop the cap. Stop the cap. Three, four, five, six bullets, and they're still not down. You're like, what the heck? Maybe this guy used a stim shot or something. You're trying to figure it out. You're scratching your head. Now you're saying that you're getting killed in one, two bullets, but it's feeling like that you're shooting uh, five, six bullets to take the guy down. I understand. Sometimes it's placebo. Sometimes you're exaggerating. Sometimes you feel that way, but it's not the real. That's not the reality. But 
I believe him when he says that. I believe when you were saying like when I, when I made videos about skill dismantling like a couple of months ago, a lot of a lot of you were saying that like it looks like that I'm firing like 10, 20 bullets and morphos are not dying. I believe you because we had patents that actually deadass talks about that. Rig based matchmaking, they nerf you in real time. They clip your nuts in real time. They know your entire bloodline's future. They know how many kids you're gonna have once you play five games. Bruh. No jokes, no jokes, man. The algorithm, the algorithm knows that, that, that the algorithm is playing you. That's uh, modern day FPS games, guys. Have now, being able to attach things that increase your range and your damage over range and what you're able to do at range really does make things so much more simple and easier to use those one-off weapons that maybe you're only trying to get the camo challenge for and then you're moving on for the rest of your life, right? So I really do implore each and every one of you that Stupid. are going to try hardcore, give it a chance more than just one game. Because let me tell you right now, nah. the community that plays hardcore is definitely nope. much different than core. It's a much more slower paced experience. Isn't at least for the most part. Wrong. He's not wrong. wrong. Let's be real. I mean, this game has been nothing but slow pace, guys. Like, that's Infinity War. Shout out to Infinity War, man. 3,000 devs. 3,000 devs. Bimbos, bozos all around. Running around. Not even running around. They got, they're standing there with thumbs up their asses. Cannot even make a solid game. After five months, we're going to be getting one new map. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Shocker, right? Multi-billion dollar company cannot even give us one new map every month or two new maps every two months. They did just... Bruh. Obviously, you're going to have the people sitting in the back of the spawn just like you normally would in core game modes anyway. But when you get into those lobbies Talks that are just gamer, magical, right? people constantly running around, moving, capturing objectives. And that's one piece of advice I can give. Objective play is probably the best way to play. Domination, <laughs> kill confirmed, hard point. Give them a reason. Yeah, prestige, prestige. I love the homie Prestige. None against him, but he needs to grow up here. He needs to grow up here. I love the homie. I'm cool with him, but he needs to tell exactly how it is man i'm done being a defeated gamer guys i was being nice i was being nice like a couple of months even a couple of months ago and facts are facts modern warfare 2 on paper a lot of you were saying terrible game i'm not gonna play it again but i was keep on i'm gonna i'm gonna still stick with my opinion this game had a lot of potential man this game was good i i played it i enjoyed it i had fun I had fun, but but this game barely got anything, man. Barely. Like, those bimbos, bozos of the devs, they completely nuked this franchise, man. Modern Warfare 2, this name alone, <laughs> meant to revive the franchise, and it did, sales-wise. But is it good for the long term? Like, is the next Call of Duty game gonna sell as uh, crazy as uh, Modern Warfare 2? If they drop a name, Modern Warfare 3, probably yes. But in the long run, I, 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 this game is definitely gonna affect them badly, guys. Like, that's... To come out of their hiding spots. Give them a reason to play those objective modes. Everyone's there for the same purpose, and that is to win the match. So, swapping flags back from B to C to A, it's just, it's always a nice, fun fast experience and i definitely recommend playing those if you're going to try it for the first time I team deathmatch is a whole different situation because it's such a mixed bag some matches may go incredibly fast because everybody's moving around constantly while others not so much it's usually like the larger maps that people like to sit back and get those long shot kills done especially on like a map like shoot house you're gonna see people are constantly it's like who sees first and that's it okay Bruh. no skill based match rain probably a myth but guys this happened to nadia <laughs> This just happened. Click on this video on the screen or click the video on the left because apparently Microsoft might be buying someone new because this Activision deal might not go through. Check these videos out, guys, and I will see you right there.